My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. Hello, wonderful jam bites. This is episode number 115 of the 120 Days to Jam Mathematics with Flash Isaac. We started from the bottom. Now we are at the top. It has been a beautiful journey, a whole lot of episodes. And if you ask me, Mr. Flash Isaac, a teacher from the future, hasn't traveled in time, what do you think is the best way to pass jam? I will tell you, follow the Flash Learner Jam series. That is one. Two, get the Flash Learner Jam application. You visit flashlearner.com, you see various versions of the app, an app for other examinations. With these two combinations and a direct guide from me, these are my contact details. You can reach me for mentorship, specific questions or guide. I am here for you. All that will make you score very high in jam. In the last jam, I have many students scored above 300, many above 270, many above 250, numerous above to one of my videos on is my jam score enough you will see a whole lot of scores so i'm not a fan of screenshots or so up. i just give you helpful videos and if you've been following the series from episode one you agree with me that all these episodes are more than helpful and your life have actually changed for the better trust me ladies and gentlemen let's look at general probability questions the first question here says a crate of soft drink contains 10 bottles of Coca-Cola. So let's say Coca-Cola 10, 8 Fanta, Fanta 8, or 6 Sprite, Sprite 6. If one bottle is selected at random, what is the probability that it is not a Coca-Cola bottle? I told you that the probability that it is not is 1 minus probability that it is. Probability of failure is probability of failure is 1 minus probability of success. The probability of something not happening is 1 minus probability, one minus probability that it is happening. So, the chance that it is not a Coca-Cola bottle is 1 minus the probability that it is a Coca-Cola bottle. Now, what is the probability that a bottle picked at random is a Coca-Cola bottle? We have 8 Coca-Cola bottles, 10 Coca-Cola bottles, or 8 Fanta, 6 Sprite. The total number of bottles will be 10 plus 8 plus 6 and that will give us 24. 24. So out of this 24, the chance of picking a Coca-Cola bottle is 10 over 24 and that is 5 over 12. This is the chance of picking a Coca-Cola bottle. So, we are not asked for the probability that it is a Coca-Cola bottle. We are looking for the probability that it is not a Coca-Cola bottle. And that is 1 minus 5 over 12. 1 minus probability that it is. And this will give you 12 minus 5 over 12. And ladies and gentlemen, if I am correct, this will give you Seven over four. Probability questions are usually very, very easy. Of 200 students, 117 enrolled for mathematics, 133 for statistics, and 95 for both. This is a question involving 
two sets, which is something like this. Something like this. The universal set is equal to 200. Now let's this place be for mathematics and let it be for statistics. Let it be for both. Now, out of the 200 students, 95 enrolled for both mathematics and statistics. And they said that 117 enrolled for mathematics. They did not say 117 enrolled for mathematics only. They said for mathematics. Which means, out of those who enrolled for both mathematics and statistics, some of them, out of those who enrolled for mathematics, some of them also enrolled for statistics. And they said that 133 for statistics. They did not say 133 enrolled for statistics only. Which also implied that out of the 95 enrolling for both, or out of the 133 that enrolled for statistics, some of them also enrolled for both. Now here, we are looking for those who enrolled mathematics only. Here, we are looking for those who enrolled statistics only. For only mathematics, it will be 117 minus 95. That is 117 minus those who enrolled for both. For those who enrolled statistics only, it will be 133 minus 95. 133 minus those who enrolled for both. Now let's look at this. 117 minus 95 is 2, 2. So this is equals 22. 22 enrolled for only mathematics. 133 minus 95, 133, 95. 13 minus 5 is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 38. So this is equals 38. 38 people enrolled for only statistics. Now let's add them. The number of those who enrolled for mathematics, both mathematics and statistics, and only statistics is equals 22 plus 95 plus 38. This should be 155, if I am correct. So 155 candidates registered for at least one of the two subjects. Look at something. We have 200 students in total. Now, out of the 200 students, only 155 registered mass statistics or both of them. This implies that 45 students did not register any of them. So, what have we gotten so far? Total number of students, those who registered only mass, those who registered both, those who registered only statistics, and those who did not enroll for any of the subjects. A bag contains 36 balls total is equal 36 now out of these 36 balls some are white some are yellow and some are blue meaning we have white yellow and blue balls blue balls if a ball is chosen at random the probability of getting a white ball is 1 over 18. Now, they gave us probability of white ball. So the probability of white is 1 over 18. And that of getting a yellow is 1 over 3. So probability of yellow is 1 over 3. Take note, these values are not the number of white balls or the number of yellow balls. They are probability, the chance, the, uh, the, the, the possibility of getting these ones. But the question is saying, how many blue balls are in the balls? 
They did not say we should find the probability of blue balls. They said how many blue balls. If they had said probability of blue balls, it would be easy for us because the total probability is 1. Probability cannot exceed 1. That would have been probability of white, 1 over 18, plus probability of yellow, 1 over 3, plus probability of uh, blue. Everything here is equals 1. So, if you make blue or B subject formula, any answer you will get is going to be probability of blue ball. We can actually solve the question that way. Yes, let's do it that way. LCM here is 18, and this is 1 plus 6 plus B is equals 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. So, 7 over 18 plus B is equals 1. And B is therefore 1 minus 7 over 18. And cross multiplying, this will give you 18 minus 7 over 18. And this is 11 over 18. So the probability of getting a blue ball is 11 over 18. But the question says, how many blue balls do we have? Remember, from the general formula, probability is obtainable over total. The number you can arrive at over total is equals probability. Now we have probability, and that is 11 over 18. We have uh, the total number. That is 36. So, over 36. Up here will simply be the number of blue balls. Cross multiplying, blue balls is equal 36 times 11 over 18. 36 times 11 over 18. This is equal 22. So, the number of blue balls is 22. So, this was not the formula I planned to use before, but it's works perfectly since total probability is one so probability of uh white even plus that of yellow plus that of blue everything will give us one so making blue subject formula probability of blue is 11 over 18 and we know that probability is number of blue balls over the total number of balls probability of blue is number of blue over total number Probability of blue is 11 over 18. This is equals total blue balls over total number of balls. That is 36. And total number of blue balls is 22. So this is more straightforward than the method I wanted to use. And this Ladies and gentlemen, with this, we come to the end of this episode. And I do hope you found it interesting and you found it helpful. Feel free to get the Flash Learners Jam application and begin to answer further questions. It is going to really strengthen your knowledge when it comes to probability. So many persons who used the app and the videos in the past, they shared their testimony. In fact, many, many, many candidates scored above 300 using the Flash Learners video and the Flash Learners application. It is your turn to pass and it is your turn to score very high. Let me know if you have further questions using the comment box. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first person to get updates whenever a video drops. See you in the next episode.